I'm the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to Orlando City Career, where we are still in the transfer window. However, I think the bulk of what we were going to do in the window has already been done. We have a couple of pending deals left. One for Molino. We're just waiting on that to get finalized to ship him to Philadelphia. The deal for Joshua Gat, which I'm probably going to accept. And then the one last deal for Nocherino, which I'll either counter or just straight accept it. I'll probably counter and try to get a little bit more money out of that. But after that... That kind of leaves us with only a couple more players left to get. They're mostly just depth players. We need one wide midfielder, one, maybe two holding midfielders, and then another goalkeeper because I actually messed up and didn't realize I didn't have another goalkeeper on the roster. So I'll go get a free agency, a free agent goalkeeper, just to plug in as a backup for Viafania for the rest of this season. So that's really all we have left to do in this transfer window. The rest of the money that we have left over will go to either scouting and trying to get more players into the youth academy or giving the players that we have on the roster now the contracts that they want and that they deserve. So we just make sure everyone's taken care of financially and that we have a good scouting system going. So that's really all we have left to do. So let's get into this episode. So here is the deal for Notorino. It is from Atalanta for $2.3 million. So he's worth 2.7. I'm going to see if I can get around that for him. I'll just counter offer with 3 million. If they want to give me 3 million for a 32 year old midfielder, I'll go ahead and accept that uh, that deal. That's fine with me. And the last offer is for Joshua Gatt. And I'm just going to straight accept this one. Joshua Gatt is gone. Now, I say Joshua Gatt is gone, but obviously we still have to wait to make sure that deal goes through. Just like we're still waiting on the Molino deal. But I'm assuming those will go off without a hitch. So, while we wait on that, we do have a massive game on our hands. It's first place Orlando at second place Columbus. And this is probably the best starting 11 we can possibly put out there. Now, we won't be able to do this very often because Kaká doesn't have the stamina to play every game. And most likely, Christo will be playing up top next to Laren. But for now, this is our best starting 11. So let's take it in to one of the biggest games we're going to have all season and see what we can do. All right, here we go. Kickoff in Columbus. A good lineup out there for the Columbus crew. I'm not sure if it's their first choice starting 11, but it's definitely a strong squad. Pulisic gets by a man. Pulisic still going. Pulisic. All right, hold it up. Hold it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. There's nowhere else to go in there. Um, now play it in. Kaká. Scoop turn for Kaká. Has the shot. It's deflected, though. Good move. A good shot. Just couldn't quite get it off. We have a throw in in a pretty dangerous spot. Can we find... Oh, I see a man in there. There it is. Get there! How did no one go for the ball on our team? Oh, it's gonna fall to Kaka and the, or Laren and the shot goes wide. That was a mad scramble. I can't believe we didn't get a shot on target off of that. Christo, play it for Vincent. Vincent, inside. Play that off. This perfect. Nocherino, play it for Kaka. Kaka, turn it inside. Beautiful play, Kaka. Whoa, around a man. Oh, hold it up. Play it back in there. How did he play it to no one? There were two players in purple. And he got it to neither one of them. How? There's the whistle for halftime. We had so many good attacks that were ruined by bad passes at the end. Like, the team just wouldn't pass the ball to the right player. That's so frustrating when that happens. We should absolutely be have at least one goal by now. I mean, we had so many good attacks, but still nil-nil at halftime. How do we not? I'm fouling everywhere and I still... Oh, fuck you. No, no, no. That's not happening. That shit's not happening. No, you're not going to go skill passing on me like that. No, you can have a seat, buddy. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get a red card, though. What was the red for? What? Can I see a replay? I'm very confused. He did the little skill move, and I kicked the ball away. I might have clicked the back, clipped the back of his leg. That is certainly not a red card. Come on, man. To be fair, this is the MLS. It makes sense. And I'm getting another yellow card as well. How many players on my team are about to get cards right now? This is insane. This ref is insane. What is happening? Well, this went to shit real quick. Uh, yeah. I don't oh, my God. That almost got worse. I didn't expect that to hit the crossbar. I, I really thought that was just going to go wide. That almost got a lot worse. And now it is worse. That passing was insane. Okay, um, yeah, I don't have an answer for this one. I don't, I don't think we're going to get back in this game. That They're just playing so amazing right now. Did you see that passing sequence? Uh, could you see the passing sequence? It was so fast, I didn't even have time to change players. They're killing us at this point. This is bad. We're just going to go ahead and whip this ball in, because honestly, I don't see another way to do it. So, Vincent, put the ball in the box. That's a good header. It's a good opportunity for Kaká! 
How many times are we going to blow chances in this game? It's just not happening for us. That ball was just fell for Kaká. Oh, it was deflected just wide. That's so unlucky. Far side. Here comes Pulisic. Pulisic, hold it up. Lay it off for Christo. Good save from Colgren. That might be the first shot we've had on target. At least the first one I can remember. And it's the first one in a very long time at the very least. I mean, we just can't get an attack right now. Oh, here we go. It's out here for Acosta. Acosta, fake shot. Get by him. Oh, Acosta. Acosta. There's an open shot. Acosta hits it one. Oh, this has just been a tough one. This is going to really be a tough loss to swallow. I feel like we were the better team. We just couldn't put the ball in the net. That is the final whistle. That was an unlucky 1-0 loss. I, I just I felt like we were the better team there. We got unlucky with a couple of bad passes from the team. Carl made a couple of great saves for them. And then the ref just for for two seconds lost his mind and handed out a re straight red to Nochorino and a yellow card at the same time for our team. So that was just unlucky, but that was a big loss. All right, so the next game up is going to be at home against NYCFC. I actually lost the last time I played them, 2-0 at home. So it's the exact same game. We're at home again against them. Hopefully the squad can pull this one out, though. They do. 3-0. Kaká gets one. Pulisic gets two. And we get the three points at home. That was a big three points for this team. All right, so we are up to our next game now. And a couple of the deals we were working on have been finalized. Gat, Molino, and Nochorino are all gone. They've all been sold. And I actually have a lot more money than I was expecting to have at this point. So I'm actually working on doing a bigger deal now. And one that a couple of you guys were talking about in the comments. So if I can get that deal done, it would be insane. But I'm not sure it's going to work out. But either way, we have the quarterfinal of the U.S. Open Cup right now against New York. We're playing New York again in three days. So it's going to be tough. But we need to get through this round of this competition. All right, here we go. Kick off against New York. And I did loan them a player in this transfer window. I loaned them uh, Tommy Redding, our center back. And he's actually starting for them in this game. He's only 62 rated. I know what kind of player he is. I can't believe he's actually starting for them. But we'll see how that goes. I think we might have a weakness we can exploit there. God, another bad slide tackle. Why do I keep doing that today? Please don't send him off, ref. Come on. Don't do it. It's a straight red. Great. No, that's that's sick. This has been a fantastic episode. I got Tyler Turner sent off in the 18th minute. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I am sorry. Oh, Swanson. Big play. And ball to Pulisic. Come on, Pulisic. Take the touch. There we go. Get away from that guy. Ball in. It's behind him anyway. I, I, what? I, okay. That was the best attack we've had so far. It just wasn't very good. There is the whistle for halftime. Right now, the plan is to hang on for this nil-nil and go to penalties again. That's pretty much the only way I see this is going to happen. We can't get an attack. We can't get it out of our own half at this point. We're going to be playing defense for the second half and all of extra time if we can make it that far. There we go. Opara. Good ball through for McLaren. McLaren's going to get on the end of it. McLaren, lay it off. There's a shot! Robles, piss off, Spider-Man. I really hate that guy. He always plays like that when we play New York. How is he that good? Look at that save. That's ridiculous. That's a good find, Higuita. That was supposed to be a fake shot, but that's a good play. There it is. Breck Shea. It's going to be Higuita. And that's... They were never going to get on target. That was never going to get on target, but we're attacking that. We've got New York on their heels. Well, there's the whistle for full time. We're still hanging on. It's nil-nil. There's not going to be a lot of highlights in this game. This is what we have to do. Because I screwed up and got a red card. So, down to 10 men. This is it. This is the game plan. And right now, it's still working. All right. Start of extra time. We're going to make all of our subs. Acosta, Singh, and Roldan joining on for Swanson. I think Christo. I don't remember. Some other people. Some people are coming off. Some people are going on. I don't really know what to tell you right now. We're, we're scrambling to make this thing work. How did he do? No, 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 no. Oh, Viafania. Big save, Viafania. Yo, their center back was all the way up putting the moves on the rest of my team. How did we met or whatever his name is, do that? Christian Roldan has the fresh legs, and he's got the ball. Come on, Roldan. Keep going. Keep it going, Roldan. Uh-oh, that might have been... No, it's not. It's good. It's good. Put it in the middle. It's a shot. It's off the post. Come on, guys. Who was it that... I don't even care. Just keep going. Just keep going. We might actually have a shot at this thing. It's going to be Jackie Chan Singh. And Did you see the center back? How fast is he? 
That was ridiculously fast. We're in a lot of trouble. We got nobody back. There it is. It's for Enrique. Please be fun, ya. Whoa, he just saved us. We're still in it, boys. There is the end of the first half of extra time. It's so up and down right now. Somebody's going to get a goal, I think, before it goes to pens. I believe it's coming. There you go, Roldan. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Viafania. Oh, my God. He's been amazing. He has been absolutely incredible. Come on, boys. It's here. I, I can sense it. The goal is coming. Far side. It's actually to Cristo right in the middle. He's on it. Cristo, have the shot. Robles. What is that save? That's not even human. And they play it forward. But not, not very well. Roldan, play it there for Cristo. No, we're still on it. Keep going forward. Kellen Acosta. Long shot. Kellen Acosta. Robles is just ridiculous. There's no way to beat him. All right. A corner. This is it. This is the last chance. Who is it going to be? I see a man top of the box. It's Cristo. Cristo has the shot. Robles saves it. Play it across. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. We're going to win this game. Oh, my gosh. Who got to it? I, I don't know who that was that actually got to the ball. But he plays it in. And it's an own goal. Goal on the captain, Dax McCarty. That's so unlucky. I don't even care at this point. We outplayed New York in extra time with 10 men. Absolutely deserve to win this thing. We got a gift of a goal to win it, but I don't care. We're getting out, we're getting through this round of them, or the U.S. Open Cup. Ref, blow the whistle. That's it. It's done. It's over. I didn't expect it to be an own goal. I really didn't. Oh my gosh, what a game. What a performance from this team of mostly reserves. Way to stick with it after we went down to 10 men and just see it through. Stick with the game plan, believe in it, and get the job done. I'm proud of this team. All right, we're going to get a player in now in the holding midfield spot. It's going to be Danilo Acosta from RSL in the MLS. A pretty good young midfielder. Not a lot of potential, but honestly, I don't want a player that has a ton of potential that we're going to have to deal with down the road. This is a player that has like low to mid 70s in potential, so he should stick to the team and not want too much of an increase in role or wages. So a good deal we're getting done right here. All right, so before we end this episode, we're going to go ahead and go through and start offering some of these players some contracts. I'll let you know, the big name I was working on getting in was Lucas Milano. I got the deal accepted from Portland, but it would cost us $9 million, and we have just a little over $10 million in the in the transfer budget. So we could do the deal, but he would have to be a designated player, which I don't want to do, and it would take up most of the remaining budget that we have, and I don't want to do that either. So uh, just a little bit too much money and just not the right situation to do Lucas Milano. But in a future series, I'll have a look at bringing him in because he is a player that intrigues me. I know he's very, very good, so... In this, in this situation, though, for this team, in this series, it's just not going to work, unfortunately. So, let's go ahead and start offering some players some new contracts. Viafani is going to be the first one. He wants about $4,000. And the reason I'm doing this one is because he doesn't have very much longer left on his contract, just over a year. So, let's give him his contract. Crucial first team player for him. Pulisic, another big player on this team. He wants the $25,000 per week in wages. It's exactly what Kevin Molino was getting. So, I see no reason not to give it to him. Plus... He's 75 overall rate. I didn't even realize he's still growing. I mean, he's still growing at an incredible rate as well. Let's give him important first team player. Of course, Christo is one that's going to get a new contract as well. Also wants the 25K per week in wages. Only a two-year extension though. He, he still has two years left on his deal anyway. But also still first important first team player. And the last player we're going to do right now is going to be Brandon Vincent. I know I said I didn't like him. I wasn't willing to give him this contract. It's the exact same contract that Ro Ramos, our right back, has. But ever since I said that, he's really impressed me. And he's my first choice starting left back now over Breck Shea. A very, very good player. Let's also give him important first team player as well. So that is going to be it for this episode. I feel like we got all of our important players locked in with new contracts. And once those contracts are accepted, we'll see where we stand money-wise. But I'm still looking for another wide midfielder. I have a deal going to try to get one of those in. I have a very specific player in mind for that one. But I, have, I need another holding midfielder as well. And I honestly don't have another player in mind for that. So if you have any more suggestions for that position, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'm always interested to see what players you guys come up with in, in the comments. Because some of the players are really interesting and I've never heard of before and end up working out really, really well. And as always, I take a look at all of the players suggested to me. So make sure you leave some comments below if you do have a player you, that you think I should look at as a holding midfielder or a center midfielder. Either way, I think they'd fit in that spot. So... 
that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you when we come back for some more Orlando City career. See ya.